Hello, welcome to my TNA review. Real big thing tonight. All the mortal come out at the beginning. Hogan, Bischoff, and the rest of the guys in the piston now. They already talked about he still wanted to offer Anderson why he screwed him last week and everything. And Anderson comes out because he's an asshole. <laughs> it's great. And all most of the people in this ring are sheep that just ride off of Hogan's nuts and Especially Eric Bischoff, he's been on him for years since the WCW. And Anderson, and he's not going to join him. And then Hogan slaps him to the ground, and the rest of the mortal beat him up, and then said, This isn't going to be the last time you'll see me tonight. And Hogan and them in the back, like they're talking about, yeah, they made him squeal like Andre the Giant a little. And the network comes at with him with a best of three series match. Matches for Fortune going against the mortal to get the upper advantage in lockdown, because lockdown is this Sunday. April 17th, so that's what's going to happen then this Sunday. Um, next, he's Fatal 4-Way, I guess, for the Lockdown Tag Team then. Uh, I guess they were the captains of them, where well, Orlando Jordan was in it. Um, Doug Williams, part of British Invasion. Uh, Crimson, well, Scott Steiner, Inky. Uh, I believe, um, yeah, Jesse Neal was just in the match. Uh, the match was going, and, um, Kind of turned out to be um, two guys. Well, Scott Steiner went after um, Shannon Moore after he kept messing with him. And I guess Jesse Neal may have went, went after him and stuff because he kept messing with Scott Steiner most of the time. Kind of took my eyes off a little thing right here. A lot of guys just stop by. A fish comes out. I guess he pretty, well, he remembers what Crimson did to him and choke slammed him on the steel guard well taken out from the crowd. So a fish got his somewhat payback on. If you remember a few months ago, slamming that spike into him. Uh, Orlando Jordan won the match. Call it the, the gender bender. It looks like Crossroads with Cody Rhodes uh, a lot of the time after distracting the British invasion. But Bully Ray comes to talk to RVD, talk, trying to offer him into a mortal. Wants him to get an immortal badly. Just playing. Well, we all know RVD never lost the title back in um, August, but. Because of a bitch took him out. I remember the whole EB 2.0 thing and stuff. Uh, Matt Hardy went against Kazarian. Uh, one with a finisher called the, the Ice Pick. It's called the Ice Pick. So Matt Hardy won that match. I know it was a good match with um, him and Kazarian. Uh, as Kazarian, whatever you want to call him, but Matt Hardy won the match. Um, other stuff that happened. Madison Rain came out talking about she should have hit that bike harder at Mickey James. Because Tara said this has gone too far. But the thing with uh, she, uh, Mickey James come out and says she's going to get her, I'll think she's messed up her shoulder and arm. Uh, she's going to beat the crap out of Madison Rain a lot now. Take the time for over six months. We saw what's been happening. If anyone needs to know what's going on, just look at YouTube or look up some TNA. Um, next match Matt Morgan, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle versus Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Hernandez and the Pope. The match is going. Jeff Jarrett got up out of there, and Kurt Angle went after him. And uh, Pope got the brass knocks and knocked Joe out after uh, Matt Morgan knocked out Hernandez out of the ring and knocked Joe out the brass knucks. And um, Hernandez and them one in Morgan got knocked out the brass knucks and they just stood over them. So that's what happened. And uh, moments ago, it was moments ago. Jeff Jarrett, he was getting his getaway cards to get out of Karen A. So hey, you been first, and it was. <laughs> she tries to go back and run, and Jeff Jarrett just gets out of dodge, and he's out of there, so he wasn't coming back. So, Kurt Angle says, oh, so that's the husband, huh? Yeah, well, good job. Just, just well, good freaking job. Oh, uh, Jeff Jarrett's getting the crap beaten out of him. Then, um, Hogan and them come back to uh, saying they need RBD, because he brought him back in March of 2010. Make him hold up and show, and how he's real big, and if you look at the many times RBD that up, he's been up there, but Hogan think he has been. And then Sting comes out. He says he needs. He he came back for a reason. Stop Hulk Hogan and Bischoff from taking over because they fucked up this show so badly. I hate to say, even though most of a lot of people will hate TNA, uh, some of the breeze, I may just you know, just stay on it because he needs to stop them from taking over. And um, and Sting tries to persuade RV he's gonna join you guys. Cause yeah, it'll, it'll just be like another Jeff Hardy thing. You don't know, Jeff ever gonna come back to his like, court days or something. Or, cause he was a, after Victory Road, that was the biggest flop-ass match I've ever seen. RVD gets 
out of range. He doesn't know what to do. So I guess he's thinking on it. Then Sting, uh, Bischoff says, um, we have to check me here. We're taking over and stuff. So he got Sting. And then, so then Sting hits Bischoff and Scorpion Death Drop. He's going to see Hogan again. He'll get Hogan either locked out or tonight on TNA. Then um, James Storm went against Abyss. Abyss won the match, Black Hole Slam. And then Omoro got in the ring, but unfortunately um, got scared him off. So, I thought it was supposed to be Ric Flair versus Beer Money. I guess that match, I guess, got canceled for some reason. I forgot why. Um, there was a guy who to call Ange- Angelina looked like a zombie or some kind of emo. I don't know. Went to his mess with him and she just beat the crap out of him. Velvet Sky DET her onto a chair. So that's what happened right there. Then the Gauntlet match from Mortal Anderson sent out um, Gunner first. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Murphy first. He got Mike checked out of there. Rob Terry next. Then he, he got Rob Terry. Mike checked him. Then Gunner. Mike checked him. And then was Bully Ray. Kind of out with the pin time bomb. But um, Bully Ray threw him out of the ring. Then hit the referee. He was going to do the same. He get the AJ Styles. And then Hogan comes out. He takes out the back place. He was gonna do what Hulk. He was gonna do what Bully Ray did. So Sting comes out the baseball back and ready to hit Hogan. A bitch tries to get him, but Sting dodges it. Hits a bitch with the bat. Max him. Then hits Bully Ray with it. So he's coming after Hogan, and he just holds the bat to Anderson. He just saved his life. Then they go to the reactions. One of Rob is gonna do. I don't know what Rob is gonna do. He's just standing there, like just just thinking. What is he gonna do? Anderson says. He came in for one thing only, and to get the belt. Ever since he came in last he's been for a year and a half, and all he wants to do is get the belt and get the belt. And I'm um, going to be a my, and um, because they try to do this for AJ, and they're kind of screwing up a little out there. So then, and then Sting, he's talking about, oh yeah, the red blood cells are flowing. They are flowing, I tell you. He's coming after Hogan. That's what he says. He's coming to take down now. The red blood cells are flowing through everybody in TNA. It's showtime. Yeah. So, and then Hogan says he's going to get into Sunday, so we'll see what happens then. Yeah, it's showtime, all right, in TNA. And that's my review. Comment and subscribe and tell me whatever you think of the match or whatever this video is of my review of TNA.